God is not one, it is about the eight rival religions that run the world. So instead of pressing all the religions into one box, like a lot of other books do, I try to separate them out and look at them individually in comparison, but individually, and not coming into it with some assumption that all religions are the same and horrible, or all religions are the same and good. The basic premise is that religion matters, that religion isn't just this thing that happens inside our own private hearts on Sunday at 11 o'clock. It's something that motivates people militarily, economically, politically. We need to know something about the great religions of the world in order to make sense of the world that we live in. So one thing I ask when I teach and write about the world's religions is what kind of problem do they see that we human beings have? Then what's the solution to the problem? So if you understand the human problem as basically about sin and you want to get salvation, well then Christianity is going to make a lot of sense to you. But if the problem really is suffering, then maybe Buddhism is the solution. Or if it's about chaos, the chaos in the world, well maybe then Confucianism is going to be where you want to go. Or if it's about freedom, that we're too constrained and we seek out freedom, maybe Taoism is the religion that's going to make sense to you. You know, it's easy to imagine that the right thing and the good thing for an ethical person is to sort of pretend that the religions are basically the same. I mean, isn't that the way that we're going to get along in the world? But it seems to me that if you take just an ordinary human relationship, you know, how do we get along with one another? It's not by pretending we're the same. It's by acknowledging the differences that we have and then coming to understand them and then respect them. So that's what this project tries to do, is to understand the differences that the world religions have and then to come to respect them instead of having this pretense that the religions are somehow absolutely the same. The book tries to come at religion from essentially an outsider perspective or a secular perspective and just ask basic questions about what do these folks believe, what do they do, and how has their tradition evolved over time? And a lot of times people think that religion is basically about belief or even that it's basically about the beliefs of elites who are, say, mystics. But religion is really, for most people, about the day-to-day -day things that they do. It's about going to temple, it's about meditating, it's about praying, it's about seeking out your god or gods in, in some fashion. And so I try to focus not just on beliefs, but also on practices, and not just on elites like mystics, but also ordinary people, men and women, who are trying to make their way in the world. This book tries to provide basic religious literacy for people who are curious about the world, want to make sense of what's going on in it, and understand that in the big picture, religion is a huge mover, a hugely powerful influence, both on individuals and on society.